What's going on everyone? I'm going to show you how to make a prelay or a lay box here in this video. And I made a video last year on this and it's pretty much the same this year on how I'm going to create my lay box. Now what I like to do is create my lay box about three to four days after my female has her prelay shed. And then today after making the lay box, we're going to put it inside her terrarium and it's going to be for sale. And we're going to introduce her to her lay box so she gets used to it over the next two or three days because she's going to be laying her eggs next week or this week coming up. I'm thinking Wednesday to Friday she's going to be laying her eggs. And yes, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about doing or at least hosting a live feed, a live stream on my YouTube channel of Syl laying her eggs. Now if you think that's a cool idea or something you would watch, let me know down below in the comments section. I'm really thinking about doing a live stream, so uh, I think it'd be uh, pretty cool watching Syl lay her eggs in real time. So Now with that being said, let's go over to products, let's create this lay box, and let's do that here on Hogging Outs. All right, let's start off with the products that I use. This is going to be a little mixing bowl that I'm going to use to either mix some of the substrate in or I'm just going to take some of the coca core and put it in here. Then we're going to use this for the egg boxes. But what we have here is a Tupperware uh, tub and this is a 1.5 gallon, 5.6 liter. Uh, the hole is perfectly cut. It's a perfect circle. I did this last year, so uh, don't worry, these sharp edges uh, will not hurt the female as she goes in and out of it. So we'll put that here. I disinfected this table, cleaned it, so we're good to go. I cleaned my hands really good, so I'll probably end up cleaning them really good again. I get in there with a brush for my fingernails. This is a block of coca core, which we're going to use. This is going to be the main uh, <clears throat> material we're going to use for the substrate. It's fine, coca core. And the next product we're going to use in our substrate is going to be spag moss, guys. I like to act like the kids nowadays are called spag moss, not sphagnum moss. But this is five-star rated, guys. This ain't no three, four-star shit. This is five-star premium green sphagnum moss. And this is for enhanced humidity. So uh, this is good stuff to mix in with your coca core. And we're going to be mixing this substrate with quality. Quality Polar Spring H2O. We don't use no faucet water here, guys. We use premium high grade quality h2o all right all right let's get on with the mixing all right everybody the first thing we're going to do is put the brick of the coca core the fine coca core in the tub this could be our pre lay tub or our lay tub i should say for sale and what we're going to do is just pour it's probably going to be at least two bottles of water and we're going to do is just pour it right on top of it just pour it on top just like this and what you're going to see is this water on the bottom is going to get sucked in on the bottom of the coca core. So it's going to suck it all in. We can actually flip this over if you want. And we're going to get the other bottle and pour it on top. You do it slow, fast. I like to do it slow. Get it on the sides. Let it drip down to the sides. And eventually you're going to see this brick expand. It's going to expand about another 25 to 30% upwards. Now the next thing we're going to do is flip this over on its side. Let it soak up that water on the side. Give it about a minute. And then we'll repeat that on this side. We'll flip it over on this side. Put this on the bottom. All right, next thing we're going to do is just start breaking this apart, guys. Just break it apart with your fingers. Again, make sure your hands are very, very clean. Uh, you don't have to use gloves. You can if you want. And I clean my hands really, really good. I get underneath my fingernails and everything. Clean them for like a couple minutes. But we're, what we're going to do is just break this apart. Just break it apart. That's all you got to do. Break this side up. Oh, look at all that. Good. So we're just going to break it up with our fingers. We've got a good amount in here already for a lay box. All right, that should be good for a lay box. Yes, that's actually a perfect amount. So we're going to put the rest right here in our dish right here. We're going to use the rest of this for our egg boxes, and that's going to be in the next video. So we'll put this aside right now. So the moisture here is pretty good. Like I like to do a squeeze test. Now, since this is a little moist, what I'm going to do here is bring this over, and then what I'm going to do is do a squeeze test on this, try to squeeze out the excess water. As you can see, some water is coming out. There we 
go. Let's get all that excess water out. I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Oh, cause you don't want your eggs getting wet. Look at all that water coming out. We don't want that water in there. We do not want that water in there. There we go. And that should be pretty good. Yes, much, much better. Okay. All right, so there you have it. Still a little moist, but not as moist as, a, as it was. And then I put it inside the terrarium underneath the heat lamp in the daytime. In another two or three days, there'll still be a good amount of humidity and it won't be as moist. But right now, it feels pretty good. It feels really good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is add some Spag Moss Five Star Premium. It's good stuff. And we're gonna get our spray bottle and spray this down and then add it to the mixture. Let's do that. All right, let's pull out a clump. That's all we need. And what you wanna do is break it apart. Just keep on breaking it apart. And what's good about sphagnum moss is that it holds humidity very, very well. So it'll boost the humidity. It's for enhanced humidity for this tub. So we're just gonna break it up in fine pieces. Not too fine. We're gonna do this. That's what we're gonna do. So this is something you would get in nature uh, when hog noses are looking you know, for a place to lay their eggs, leaves, dirt, spag moss. All right, now what we're gonna do is get our spray bottle and just spray it down. And this is a fine mist spray bottle. It's a fine mist. As you can see, it's a little fine mist. All right, that looks pretty good. Mix it up real good. And guys, basically we're done. Now you can see there's humidity, you can see all the like, how the outside is wet. What I like to do is wipe that down. Reason being is, even though she'll mess it up, I like to see through the sides to see if she's laying her eggs or not, so. It's good visual for us, so. Just wipe it down the sides. I know it looks pretty. It doesn't need to be pretty. And there we go, everybody. A perfect lay box for your female hog news. Now let's put this inside her terrarium and introduce her to her lay box. And trust me, she'll be in there about 80% of the time. All right guys, so is underneath her hide here. She is ready to lay eggs here in the next four or five days. Look how big she is. She's huge. All right, I'm gonna pick her up, put her lay tub in there, and then uh, we'll introduce her. Oh, she's, she's full with eggs too. All right guys, there we go. Looks beautiful. And let's introduce her to her lay tub. Look how beautiful. And she'll be in her lay tub until she lays her eggs. And then of course, we will have video of her laying her eggs here this week. Now we're gonna do a little And let's check her out. And there she goes guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be creating egg boxes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. And uh, we're going to have eggs this week. Cheers.